Hi there everyone. Today we are making a bubble effect in TV paint. The first thing we want to do is make a color layer for the background. We choose our paint bucket and go down to our sliders. You can choose any color you want. Click on your white canvas. If you go down to your layers, switch your layer to hold. Rename your layer by double clicking on it. Let's make a new layer called Bubble. In animation it is important to work in different layers, so that when you make a mistake, you can fix it easily. Click on the light bulb icon at the top of the screen. Make sure you have only one previous frame selected. Go down to your bubble layer. Click on the grey dot underneath the light bulb icon. Now you can see your previous frame. Select a pencil. Go to your sliders and make the color white. Choose your ellipse tool and draw a circle. We want to erase the bottom. Make sure you have stroke selected. Close the bottom of your bubble by using your pencil tool, making it look like it is on water. Let us select our transform tool. On the next 3 to 4 frames we will grow the bubble until it is ready to pop. After you have transformed a frame, remember to click enter. By using the little rectangles on each key, you can move the keys around, giving you control over the timing of your animation. Follow along as I grow my bubble. Now we are going to draw how the bubble pops. We are drawing water strands and splashes. This will cause the illusion of the bubble popping. Now we can draw the water of the bubble falling down. Make sure you draw shapes that represent a splash. Water is commonly associated with rounded shapes, make sure no sharp edges are used. A few water drops here and there will really pronounce the burst of the bubble. As the water falls down make sure you reduce your shapes and let the water droplets fall down and minimize.
Now that the water has fallen down we need to create a ripple. Remember that the ripple must be the same size as the bubble which has just popped. A few curved lines can be used to create a circle in the water. As time goes by, these curves must be minimized until they reach a point where you can no longer see them. Watch closely. We want to color in. Grab your paint bucket and select a nice light blue color. Start dropping it into each bubble. Remember, if it doesn't want to work, close up all your lines in your drawings. If there are any gaps, it won't color in. Now we are going to color everything in neatly, make sure all the gaps are colored in.
Finally everything is colored in, but we want to make it look really special. Select all your keyframes. Let's go up to effects. Stylize, glow. Select the glow color to be white. Set your glow width and height. Click apply. Now we want to duplicate our effect all over the water surface. Right click on the layer and select duplicate. Now you can duplicate the layer. You can resize the effect by selecting all the keyframes, going up to transform and repositioning the effect. Remember to press enter. Try and offset the different layers a bit. We don't want all the bubbles to pop at the same time. Grab your entire layer and move it a few frames after the initial begin frame. Watch closely how I do it. Now that we are done we can adjust our scene, I want to change my background color. Simply go on the background layer and drop your new color onto the canvas. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please go check out our site at Studio Lincoln for more tutorials.